Pilot's Guide to the PJ2 Plus Com Radio. We start by inserting six AA batteries into the alkaline battery pack. It slides on the back. And to turn the radio on, I can spin the knob at the very top. On the side of the radio, we have a last frequency button, a push to talk switch, and then a backlight button. If you want to keep the backlight on, just hold it down for three seconds. The radio beeps, and now the backlight is on. To enter a frequency into the radio, just type in the frequency. The frequency here at Claremont County is 122975. Note that sometimes you'll have to enter in all three digits. You'll notice that the last frequency that I entered is now in the last frequency slot. I can switch back and forth between those two frequencies by using the flip-flop or last frequency button. The easiest way to enter a frequency is to just type it into the keypad. You can also adjust the frequency by using the up and down arrows. To save frequencies, I start by entering the frequency I want to save. I can now hit the memory button, and that brings up the memory mode. I can save up to 20 different uh, channels in the memory slots here, and I can use the up and down arrows to choose the slot I wish to save on. I have the double O slot selected, and I can hit the memory button again and that saves my frequency in the memory. I can do that to all the frequencies I want to save. Now that I have several frequencies saved in memory, I can recall them, and that's done by pressing the recall button. Hitting the recall button goes into recall mode, and now I can go up and down to the frequencies that I have saved. Hitting the clear button will exit the recall mode. To edit my saved frequencies, I can do that in several ways. If I want to override a saved frequency, I can do that by entering the frequency I want to save, enter the memory mode, and then select the frequency I would like to override. Hit memory again, and now my new frequency will be saved in that slot. If I would just like to delete a couple frequencies in there, I can do that by holding the button clear and memory. Mem clear appears on the screen and now I can go up and down to whatever memory I want to delete, in this situation 123, and then the zero button says mem clear underneath it. So I hit zero and it deletes that frequency from my memory. If I want to erase all the memory channels in this radio, I can do that simply by using this all clear that is listed underneath the clear button. I start by turning the radio off, then I can hold down all clear while turning the radio on. All mem clear is displayed, and now you'll notice there is nothing saved in the PJ2 Plus Com radio. Now let's say I want to program some frequencies in for an air show I'm going to. This way I can use that 3.5 millimeter jack on top of the radio, put my earbuds in there, and listen to air traffic control or the CTAF. So I can start by putting in a few frequencies. And store these into memory. And let's say those are the top three frequencies that the uh, air show traffic is going to be using. Now I can use my recall button to bring up recall mode 
and if I hold down up or down, my PJ2 Plus COM radio will scan the frequencies that I have saved. When something comes on over the radio, it'll stop, you'll hear the transmission, and then it'll go back to scanning. To stop this, I can hit the clear button. If I want to scan all frequencies in the spectrum, I can do that by your standard comm screen here and just hold up or down. And now it'll start scanning all the frequencies. The PJ2 Plus comm radio has an emergency mode and that can be seen on button number two where you see 121.5 in red. To access this, just hold down the two button. It will flip the frequency over to 121.5. This radio does have key locks, so if you want to put this in a pocket and are worried about accidentally typing on the buttons, you can use the key lock button, and that's accessed by holding down clear and then down. And now the key lock is on, and it won't let me change any of the buttons. The screen says key L to tell you that the key lock is on. To turn it off, I just do the opposite, clear, down. There's also a beep underneath the up key. Same thing, hold down clear, and now the beep is off. The PJ2 Plus COM radio has an automatic noise limiter, and that is displayed with the A at the very top of the screen. You can turn that on and off by holding down the clear, and then hit four. Most people just leave that on, and it is on by default. If you like to adjust the backlighting and the screen contrast, you can do that with several keys here at the bottom of PJ2. So hold down clear and hit seven, it'll bring up the backlight low setting. And I can adjust that using the up and down keys. The higher the backlight, the more energy it takes. Hitting clear will exit this screen. If you hold down clear and eight, that lets you adjust the high backlight setting. And then finally, clear nine is the contrast. This is also where you'll find night mode. So you have a reverse and a normal. When using the battery pack on the PJ2 Plus, you'll get 6 watts of peak output power. This radio can also operate on lithium ion battery packs with a charging cable. Anything that can provide 2.4 amps will operate this radio. This is our flight gear battery brick we sell here at Sporties. When we plug it into the side of the radio, you'll notice that the battery icon changes to a USB plug icon meaning the radio is now getting power from this brick. When it's on power from a brick or from a cigarette lighter or wall plug, the peak output power is limited to only 5 watts. A quick operational tip is when you turn the radio on, turn the volume up about halfway, and then use the squelch knob to break squelch. Once you find that spot, just turn it a little bit beyond that to silence the squelch. These operations can be found inside the operator's manual. We've also designed a sticker for the back of the radio that has simplified directions for some of the frequency used functions. How to store frequency, recall frequencies, delete frequencies, erase all frequencies, and scan. If this sticker is not on your radio, you should be able to find one inside your operator's manual.